I'm Lindsay. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about sleep training and some little tips and tricks that will help you help your children get to sleep at night. When I started working with children, I started doing a lot of behavior work with children and families and realized that sleeping is one of the most challenging aspects of parenting. So I began looking at the research. I began looking at how sleep works. And sleep is, first of all, I want everyone to understand if sleep is a funny thing. A few years back, I took a workshop in evolutionary psychology and one of the interesting things that we talked about was sleep and why we even sleep as long as we do why animals need more sleep than others um, why some animals never sleep and then how some animals can go into a sleep state while they're still moving and while they're still active like sharks and one thing that we found that was really interesting was the case of this woman who only slept one to two hours a night and that was really all of the rest that she needed and then here she was 22 hours of the day active and functional and feeling well rested. Why was it that this woman could only need two hours of sleep while some of us need 12, 14 hours of sleep to feel rested and really be able to be productive and functional? And one of the findings of the research completed on, on this sleep psychology was of the biological aspect, the fact that it was dangerous to be up, you know, years ago at night. There were no lights. There were a lot of wild animals that were a danger to us. And so one of the purposes of sleep was actually a manual shutdown because we're not safe at night. So at night, it was important for us to be in a place where we were with people, um, and others who could support us and protect us. It was to sort of force us to stop for a little while. Another biological reason is for your bodily repair, that maybe you don't necessarily need uh, mental uh, rest. However, your body needs time to heal and needs time to repair. And so that was one of the reasons for sleep. And then lastly, when we really look at sleep, and again, if there are any uh, specialists out there who can correct me, please do. This is only from the research and the experience that I've had. But uh, for the most part, there's the REM sleep where we really get some rest. And the rest of it, you know, we're kind of in and out of sleep states throughout the night. And we're not really in that place where we're getting repair done. So again, different bodies need different things. And I think it's so important when you're looking at yourself and your children to recognize how much does my child really need in order to feel good. And for you to not assume, uh, you know, I, I read in the book where I looked online and nine hours is the appropriate amount of sleep. So I'm going to assume my child, if they're not getting nine hours of sleep, they're not rested. You know your child, you trust your instincts and in, with regards to yourself and your children um, as far as their needs go. And, and it's okay sometimes once they're old enough to really ask them, you know, you got two hours of sleep or four hours of sleep last night. Do you really feel rested? I always encourage parents to trust their instincts with regards to their children and to not accept what you read online always or even here in videos as 100% fact. <laughs>